I'm proud to be part of this project of Info Nile because it made me to discover a few things about smart climate agriculture. And today, seeing my story published and uh, being appreciated, recognized, and bringing to the public to know how power of writing can change their mindset in farming. I'm very excited in this case. Hello. Um, I'm so happy to see all of you. Enjoy here. your yum 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 you know, agriculture for a very long period of time is considered to be for main dominated sector. But for us here in uh, Choli sub region, we are changing the narrative. It's my privilege as a female journalist to report that uh, there are many women who are into farming and they are doing great job. They are doing wonders. I'm telling you, the, the one, the farmer I talked of um, about having the, the, uh, the, the watermelon, the tomatoes, she's a lady. In a, in a year or within a year, she's earning not less than 50 million from, uh, from, uh, from tomatoes. It's really encouraging to see ladies rise up and take agriculture as their breakthrough. houses in Lera. The journalist is based at home here. We want to thank you as a local government for always being there when we want you and when there are things we want to put out to our community. We have never said thank you, but you do a good job. We are proud of you. I want to address you as Department of Production. We are grateful you are today here to tell stories of farmers in pictures. That has never happened. As the Air District, we regard you as a partner. We want to do more of that. We are grateful and we value this partnership. With the sponsorship of uh, Infonile, I was able to do this story, which is about climate smart agriculture. As, uh, as never before, this is Judith Ayo, a farmer who has been uh, cultivating for decades. But here is a situation whereby, for the first time, she is actually cultivating during the dry spell of December to March. This is a period in Lira district which is characterized by intense sunshine. It's actually a prolonged dry spell where the wind is very warm, the sunshine is scorching, and usually farmers don't cultivate in this period of time. But since he was able to acquire the solar-powered irrigation system, Judith Ayo is comfortably cultivating and she's basically dealing in uh, vegetables. You can see there her onion, she's having tomatoes, the other side she has cabbage, the other side she has uh, watermelon. She is very comfortable cultivating in December, a period where the sunshine is scorching and usually at this period of time most of the farmers are redundant. They fold their hands and they sit to wait for rainfall to come back in the, in the month of March. But for her, during that dry spell, she ends up employing other farmers who are redundant in her farm. So this is what embracing climate smart agriculture brings in the life of a farmer like Judith Sayom.
I, I really appreciate the government of Uganda that for supporting me as a farmer or supporting farmers within the country by using this uh, irrigation. You know, government micro scale irrigation system. So there is a initiative which was brought the knowledge by the government. So we do adopt it so that it is, it is now still helping us. And again, there is a issue of feed here which has come on the ground. So we received rain, but then we received some money from it. And now we are using it to support us in our project so that we run the project smartly without even any failure. Even me, I was, uh, I was not know how to plan the meat very well. But right now, I got the knowledge how to plan the meat. Not only that, I was, I was not know uh, that uh, uh, there are some chemicals which is good for spraying our crop, but for us we use a local. We just we just plant our crop. We just uh, live in a house. We don't know how to weed it carefully. We just wait a group to come and help us to to weed us. But right now, I got a new idea. If you have, a, if you buying a chemical for, for like a wind master, you will spray for the, uh, only one time. Then it will take long for three months, maybe nine days, ninety days. So it is so 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 good. And right now, I will go back. I will use the idea I got from here. So thank you. I did a story about a farmer called Dennis Okello who comes uh, from Adiaha, that is in the Red District. He's a coffee uh, farmer. Those are some of the, the photos showcasing that he uses plastic bottles to uh, water his uh, plantations, especially when the seedlings are very young and they need a lot of water. And then the garden is also mulched to keep the moisture intact, aside from him using the drip irrigation method. And then the last photo is when we captured him picking uh, some of his coffee from the garden. All thanks to the plastic bottles that majority see as waste. But for the elderly Dennis Okello, he sees the plastic bottles as a source of wealth and as a product he can use to even achieve in his uh, farming project of coffee. So this was a project I did, that even as we take water, we should not look at plastic bottles as a waste, we should look at it as something that can add value. And this is how Dennis Okello uses the plastic bottles to add value to his farming and to support his farming, especially the coffee that he uses. Thank you so much.